While there are concerns tonight about the racial disparities in the number of coronavirus cases, do blacks and Latinos have a better chance of getting it? First News reporter Brianna Ray Turner talked with an infectious disease specialist in Youngstown to find out. With COVID-19 patients coming in and out of the hospital, health officials started to recognize some common denominators. Obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and asthma, chronic obstructive lung disease. Well, who's disproportionately affected by that? the African-American and Latino community. With COVID-19 escalating very rapidly within the U.S., infectious disease specialist Dr. D. Banks says health officials' first instinct wasn't finding out the demographics of the virus, but how they could put an end to it. Primarily, all we were concerned about was trying to keep people alive. Dr. Banks says no one was prepared for this virus, which is why the processing of data was delayed. We were hit hard by a virus that we weren't prepared for the infectivity rate of this. We weren't prepared with how infectious this was, and we weren't prepared for how prevalent this was. Several states this week collected and released data on races and ethnicity that were affected by the virus, the highest numbers being African Americans and Latinos. Dr. Banks says not only do African Americans have to worry about their health, but social issues also play a big factor. You know, not a lot of us can work from home. Not a lot of us can stay off of work for 14 days. Um, a lot of us don't have jobs in the African-American Latino population where you can stay off of work for 14 days and do your job at home. Dr. Banks says she has witnessed many health challenges through her time and believes that there is still hope. I'm Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.